Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the effect of rotation of a support in a fixed beam. Let us consider a beam which is fixed at A and partially fixed to B. You can see that the tangent in the point B rotates at the angle of theta B. That is why we say the beam is partially fixed at B. Let us keep L as the span of the beam and theta B as the slope in the point B. Let us keep MA as the fixed end moment in the point A. Let us assume that it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Let us keep MB as the fixed end moment in the point B. Let us assume that it is also acting in the anticlockwise direction because there is no load in this beam. Let us keep RA and RB as the vertical reactions at each ends. Let us assume that RA is acting upwards. So RB should be acting downwards because in this beam there is no vertical loads. In this beam let us make a section XX at a distance of X from the point B. In this section we are going to find out the moment MXX. I am going to find the moment from the point B. In this case, I am moving towards the left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find MXX. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive. RB is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is x. Let us equate mxx with ea d square y upon dx square. Then let us integrate on both of the sides. When we integrate ea d square y upon dx square, we will get ea dy upon dx. For making the integration of these two terms, we can use this formula. Using the formula, we are getting this. C1 is the constant. We know that dy upon dx is the slope. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In this fixed support, there is no rotation. So, there will be no slope. In this case, we can make a condition when x is L, dy upon dx will be 0. In this equation, instead of x, let us apply L and instead of dy upon dx, let us apply 0. When we do that, we are getting C1. In this equation, instead of C1, let us apply this. We have just made the equation for the slope. Let us keep the slope equation as number 1. Now let us integrate this equation. When we integrate, we will get this. C2 is the constant. In the point B, there will be no deflection because there is a vertical support. So, when x is 0, y will be 0. Let us apply these values in this equation. When we do that, we will get C2. Let us apply the value of C2 here. Finally, we will get this. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no deflection. So, when x is L, y will be 0. In this equation, let us apply x is L and y is 0. When we do that, we will get this. 
we can add these two terms after adding we will get these here we can take lcm let us keep 6 as common after adding these two values we will get 2rb l power 3 let us take this term on the other side it will come as positive then let us take l cube upon 3 on the right side it will come inversely we can eliminate l square and cube finally for rb we are getting 3mb upon 2l now let us take the first equation that is the slope equation in the point b the slope is theta b so when x is 0 the slope is minus theta b since the rotation is in the anti-clockwise direction we have to apply a negative sign with theta b so in this equation let us apply x is 0 and dy upon dx is minus theta b instead of rb we can apply 3mb upon 2l we can eliminate l and square 2 into 2 we will get 4 here we can take lcm let us keep 4 as common 3 mbl minus 4 mbl we will get minus mbl we can eliminate the negative sign from both of the sides finally for mb we are getting 4 ea theta b upon l now in this equation let us apply the value of mb and find out rb after applying the value of mb we can eliminate this 2 and here it will be 2 3 into 2 we will get 6 l into l we will get l square finally for rb we are getting 6 ei theta b upon l square now let us find r a r b is acting downwards so r a should be acting upwards since there is no load in the beam the values of r a and r b will be same but they will be acting in the opposite directions now let us take moment about a and find out m a in this case we are moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative and anti-clockwise will be positive mb is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be positive rb is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is l ma is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be positive we can eliminate l and square then let us take these two terms on the right side so they will come with the change of signs 6 minus 4 we will get 2 finally we got ma which is equal to 2 ea theta b upon l in this analysis we have got the fixed end moments MA and MB both of them are acting in the anti-clockwise direction now we are going to draw the shear force diagram you can see the shear force values using the values we can make the shear force diagram now using the fixed end moments we can make the bending moment diagram here you can see the bending moment diagram now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video